MetaSwitch offers operators a fully orchestrated, virtualized Vaulty solution. One of the key benefits of Network Functions virtualization is that it delivers increased service velocity, making it easier and very much faster to bring up new network functions. Compared to the weeks or months it usually takes, this solution can deploy a network in a matter of minutes. We're going to show this in action with this video, instantiating a Vaulty network in under 10 minutes, and then we'll go on to show Elastic NFE auto-scaling. For this demonstration, we'll be building on an OpenStack deployment, which currently has just our demo orchestrator node up and running. To make the whole process as simple as possible, the demo orchestrator is running a web server through which all user interaction will take place. If we now point our browser at this web server, we are presented with the catalog page, displaying the structure of the Vaulty phone service that will be deployed by this demo. So let's get things started and launch our Vaulty phone service. At this point, the orchestrator has begun instantiating all the different virtual machines that we will need to form this deployment. As the page auto refreshes, we can see these nodes coming up with clear representation of the state of each machine. The spinning green icon indicates that these machines are in the process of being brought up. This is done through the OpenStack APIs, so let's have a quick look at the OpenStack deployment to see this as it is happening. For our demonstration, we will initially be creating only a single node of each type but the only limiting factor on how many nodes can be created is the amount of resource available. As each of these machines comes up, the orchestrator will be dynamically providing the information each VM needs to be fully commissioned. While the deployment is brought up and configured, let's head back and look at the solution architecture in a little more detail. This is a virtualized Vaulty solution architecture. For this demonstration, we will be working with three MetaSwitch products, each specifically designed to run in a virtual environment. Clearwater Core, our RMS core, with multiple node types, serving the roles of SCSCF, ICSCF and BGCF. Perimeter, acting as an IMS PCSCF, with separate signaling and media processing nodes. And MetaView Service Assurance Server, for always-on diagnostics and analytics. The MetaSwitch faulty solution also includes an IO92 and IO94 TAS, and an SCCAS, which sit alongside the deployment to provide call features. For this demo, we will also be deploying the Open IMS Core HSS. This demo orchestrator is providing the management and orchestration function in the Etsy NFE architecture. This architecture enables the virtualization of function traditionally filled by specialized hardware, deploying software on top of standard high volume servers bringing about a number of advantages, such as reduced initial costs, reduced operating costs, and flexible elastic scaling to fit to desired capacity at any given moment. Now let's see how our deployment is going. Once a VM has been fully commissioned, the orchestrator will detect that the agents are in a running state and the node icon will change to a static green. The node icon now represents the CPU usage level of the associated node, which is the KPI we will be using for automatic scaling later in this demo. Once the initial deployment step is completed, our virtualized Vaulty solution offers a number of further management possibilities. We are able to pull the dynamically assigned IP addresses out of the deployment and provide direct links to the GUI of both our SAS diagnostic subsystem and the HSS web interface. We can quickly scale the deployment up and down, both manually and automatically. And we can pull statistics out of the deployment. At this point, our deployment is ready to handle live Vaulty traffic. Using our in-house 4G network, we are able to register two handsets with the IMS core and make calls between them just five minutes after initial deployment. Our new deployment is a fully fledged IMS network. And so any compliant user equipment can connect to the PCSCF access gateway, register with a provision subscriber, and use a network to make calls. Using the always-on MetaView Service Assurance Server, we are able to look up details on any call that passes through our deployment. Let's take a look at the call we just made. SAS allows users to search by a large variety of different conditions, including called numbers, SIP call ID, and even by different error codes. SAS traces allow quick and simple debugging in the event of any call issues, showing not just traffic in and out of the deployment, 
for all stages of the call flow between the separate internal components. The call flow tab provides a concise view of the different messages sent between components throughout the call. Any of these messages can then be opened to see the full message body. The detailed timeline displays the events as reported by the different nodes in your deployment, filterable by the level of detail required. Now that we've seen a single call, let's go back to the catalogue and launch our test load service to see how our deployment handles higher call rates. To simulate traffic across our Vaulty deployment from a larger number of subscribers, we have a test load service demo. This service will initially bring up a single node that will simulate traffic across the system using a tool called SIPP. This node will register and make calls between subscribers that were provisioned in the HSS during the initial setup. Once the load node icon turns a solid grey, the load service has begun to run stress through our Vaulty deployment. Over time we can see the increased load on the deployment through statistics pulled from the solution components. The Sprout Clearwater Core node provides the core of the IMS routing functionality and so it usually takes the largest proportion of the burden caused by the load. As such, the Sprout cluster CPU utilisation is a particularly important piece of data to consider. To draw attention to any component that is starting to use more of its resources, node icons will turn to yellow when that node starts running at more than 40% CPU utilisation. We have chosen to start highlighting CPU utilisation at this point as our automatic scaling feature is set to use it as the threshold at which we should scale up. Our virtualized Vaulty solution is highly flexible and running out of resource on a single node is not an issue like it can be in a hardware environment. Let's take a look at our auto scaling functionality in action to see how all of this fits together. To begin using our auto scaling feature, all we need to do is set any component we want to dynamically scale to auto. The orchestrator will now be able to take the necessary actions to grow or shrink our deployment based on CPU utilisation. Using this feature, our virtualised Vaulty solution can dynamically adjust to alterations in traffic. A virtualised solution means that a network operator no longer needs to maintain enough capacity to handle their peak usage rates during off-peak periods. To see our elastic scalability in action, let's set our test load service to auto as well. For this demonstration, we have designed the test load service to grow steadily from 1 to 9 nodes, all generating traffic. As the load on the deployment grows, the orchestrator will detect when the CPU utilisation across any component type reaches the set threshold and will bring up more instances of that component to handle the stress. As the number of load generating nodes increases, the CPU utilisation on the Sprout node climbs. When CPU usage passes the chosen threshold, the orchestrator kicks off deployment of a second Sprout node. Once this VM has come up, the load can then be split across them, reducing the burden on each individual member of the cluster. After the load cycle has reached its peak, the orchestrator will gradually tear down the test load system. As this happens, the load on the system drops and when CPU utilisation in any cluster drops below a set lower threshold, the orchestrator can scale down the deployment, decommissioning one node, and then calling into OpenStack to release its resources. As we've seen, it's possible to deploy a fully functional, elastic scaling Vaulty network using MetaSwitch's technology in a matter of minutes using a simple orchestration interface. NFE really does deliver a massive increase in service velocity Running a Vaulty network through a virtualized deployment is no longer just a possibility, but an easier option that can reduce costs, increase flexibility and simplify management. For more information on any of our cloud-native NFE products, including Vaulty, IMS and SBC, please follow this link to our website or contact our sales team.